Inquisitor Martyr Tips and Tricks, presented by Talon Gaming. Use combinations. Using an area of effect attack to disrupt, slow, and weaken foes, followed up by another area of effect attack to soften up enemies before going in for the kill. This works especially well on smaller and weaker horde types. Mix your kits up to complement each other. Use different weaponry for each of your two kits that you can quickly swap between depending on the situation. I usually shoot until my ranged weapon overheats or needs reloading and then I swap to a one-handed sword and shield combination to finish things off. Apply difficulty modifiers and use consumables. Tarot cards as well as level modifiers can make the missions much more challenging while also greatly increasing rewards such as credits, experience, glory, fate, and influence. You can also use consumable items that offer bonuses for a limited number of missions. These can increase experience, damage, loot quantity, and quality, or allow for more deaths in a mission before failure, among other things. Sell your loot. Everything. At least at first. Sell everything you're not using, including intel missions, and upgrade your loadout as you find better equipment, but don't keep too much more than what you need. Rare and artificer gear is more than adequate for the story campaign. Save your money until you can craft at least artificer and relic grade gear using blueprints. Later on in the game, feel free to salvage your better gear and use the materials to craft the good stuff. If you want some really good gear, collect void shards and run void crusades and get some really massive bonuses and tons of kick-ass high tier equipment. You can also buy high tiered loot packs using fate in the store. Don't forget to upgrade your gear using shards, psalm codes and other enhancements. Stack bonuses. Use perks, passives and attributes to complement your playing style. Use equipment attributes and bonuses as well. Depending on what type of weapons you choose to use or whether or not you want to act like your own meat shield, make sure you apply your skills appropriately. Remember bonuses stack so use them to your advantage. Perks that bump up damage will also help you walk through enemies much quicker. Take advantage of character attributes. For every five attribute points in any given category, you receive a bonus. Apply your points to receive the most bonuses at a small sacrifice to the other categories. Some equipment even provides additional attribute points, so keep an eye out for those. Another thing to look out for is the mine reset consumable from the vendor, which allows you to remap your passive points anytime you want. This will give you a lot of flexibility in the long term if you decide to change things up. Focus and Adrenaline. I've used perks, skills, and attributes to increase focus to the point where I can drop grenades and use power armor abilities quite often. And each focus point used provides a half percent of HP. I rarely have to use the inoculator. Suppression is key. Suppression means the difference between battling it out face to face without faltering and becoming frail, weak, susceptible to the onslaught and not being able to return the favor. Make sure to apply some passive skills, perks, or other bonuses to ensure a steady supply or consider using inoculators to keep suppression from dropping too low. Inoculators. Inoculators recover health and suppression, as well as provide other bonuses for a limited amount of time. I prefer to do the math and see what the biggest gains overall come from. A 75% immediate health bump might go to waste, whereas gaining 5% a second over 20 seconds will not only get you 25% more health recovered, but help you offset the damage you're taking over a longer period. Your playstyle will help determine which method works best for you. Explore the map. This is the only way to get the supplies you need to use consumables and the inoculator. This also leads to finding more loot chests, which can include more money, materials, and an increased chance of finding higher tiered equipment. You'll also occasionally find demons protecting chests, which tend to leave decent loot as well. Exploration will often uncover tech shrines, which provide limited time offensive or defensive bonuses. Adjust your key bindings. Turn off, click to move. This will save you from moving accidentally and a lot of frustration. If you're playing as an assassin, turn on click to dodge. It'll save you a lot of time. Turn on auto loot in the gameplay options. That'll save you from having to go and pick it up manually. If you turn on the tactical view, use Alt plus T. This will save you from having to guess on your weapons ranges. I also set up WSAD for movement rather than the default keybind. Last but not least, use single key press cover mode, and that way we won't have to hold down the space bar the whole game. There you have it folks, 10 tips for Inquisitor, Martyr, and Prophecy. Hammer down the like button if you found this handy, subscribe for more, and throw down a comment if you have any tips of your own to share. This is Chris from Talon Gaming, signing out.